the best films are impressions of reality. They could be absurd or they could be realistic, but they are still like an impression, I think. It's kind of a, it could be a misconception of what we actually do. It's important to think about it as not capturing what's going on in front of you. Uh, like what is actually the plot or the, the story, what goes on. The focus, I think, for cinematography is to think about what are the emotions in this scene. If it's like a, a realistic uh, film, uh, you want to describe it visually realistic or, but it's always an, impression of reality and the best films are impressions of reality they could be absurd or they could be realistic but they are still like an impression i think Action! you need to sort of have an artistic viewpoint when you create the images an idea about what the film is about and the director's vision of what he wants or she wants to make out of this film when it comes to the tone and the style of the film but then when, once you have a language and all, then I think it's really key to create the visual storytelling with the camera movement or not, with the lighting that creates a mood that fits the emotions either of the character or of what you want the audience to feel. And hopefully throughout the film, um, you get that it should live in a, in a sort of an adventurous romantic action um, sort of world like that is what Bond is. It should be a larger than life story. And then at the same time with Daniel Craig's character being very layered, you have that to consider and combine. And when he wrote the script with the other writers, uh, Kerry was very eager to get the storylines in such a way that you transport, you get transported from sort of one type of setting to another justified by the story. So like one example is that once you come from this ice cold opening scene, which is so brutal and, and horrifying, right? And you get to this contrast in a very romantic setting and it's a beautiful sunset. And that contrast uh, is interesting, I think, because it's it, the feelings that we come with contrast so much to what actually it looks like right there. You get transported then to that and that romantic town, but then that town itself from being so romantic becomes so hard and brutal and completely different as it gets into the action sequence. And that's like how it's so beautiful to, to work with locations and, and in combination with lighting and, and design and camera movement and compositions to describe, like if you turn off the sound, you should still sort of understand the mood and feeling of what's going on in the film emotionally. With this film, it is a widescreen movie, right? In 240 anamorphic film. So when you see it in a big screen, it's it's incredible. And, and, and in our case, I think if you go to an IMAX theater, you would, uh, on top of that, in certain sequences, the, the image would then drop, you know, below your, your peripheral seeing. So, so it's, you're just more engulfed. You know, you, you just can't do that at home. So I'm really happy that uh, the producers decided to you know, release this film in the theaters and make sure that people see it there first. It's, that's how it should be, I think. <laughs>